We put Halloween lights in this house. or something. And here's a bunch of moths on the floor. And up there is a lady with interesting hair. Now let's go upstairs. Do 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 upstairs. Heavenly upstairs. This is a room with moths in it. And here is another room with moths in it. Hooray! Here's a TV older than Daddy! Here's an antenna with a little light on it. I was really scared of it when I was two. I call it scary. This is the board that Daddy always hits his head on. One more room. Here's some cool Native American stuff. I am a lady! I'm a lady! Let's go to the bathroom. Vacuum out of the way. This is the bathroom. Except you can't pee in it because there's no toilet. <laughs> or running water. If you need to go potty or something else, you have to go over there. This is called an outhouse. It's like a bathroom, but with no running water. <laughs> Spill you the details. And this is the most important part of the cabin. Oh, pine cone. Very important. And when you come up here with Nana, she rings this when dinner is ready and stuff. This can belong to my great grandpa. Richard Lehman. This is him. Without him, we wouldn't have this wonderful cabin. This cane's pretty cool. You know, I think there used to be another cane around here. Yep. 
Do you want to hear a spooky story? You know I do. <laughs> this is the story of the cabin invader. About a million years ago. Or ten years ago. Mommy came to the cabin with Nana and Papa. Only to find stuff was scattered everywhere. There are two marks. On all of the windows! Especially this window! I saw the And the lazy Susan. Multiple salties and peppers were scattered everywhere. And then there were little poopies everywhere. Yeah, this is terrifying! I know, think of what it was like for Mommy. Who cleaned up all the little poopies? And believe me, there were a lot of poopies. Like you could feel all this barrel full of poopies. Anyway, everyone went to sleep for the night. In this very room. I was trying to sleep in this bed. And then I heard this noise. Like this. Minding his own business. And all of a sudden, a gray fuzzy thing ran out of the pile of wood. Great Grandpa said, You have dashed burnt squirrels! He hit the squirrel, breaking the cane into four pieces. I think we got him, Darsh Garnet! Everyone wondered, how did a squirrel get in here? A few hours later, Mommy was minding her own business. And the squirrel ran across the room. And then we investigated the fireplace. We decided to put screens up so the squirrels couldn't get in. And here. We think the squirrels thought they were Santa Claus. A different kind of Santa Claus, that is. Yeah. The kind that brings poopy presents. Eh? That sounds really terrifying. Some say there are hundreds, if not thousands, of squirrels out there. These are no ordinary squirrels. The Fremont Squirrels, otherwise known as Point Squirrels and Trickery. It's hard to sound scary when you say chicory. <gasps> They're gray and extra fuzzy. Yeah. Let's put on our foxy ears. And go look for one of these squirrels. I hear a squirrel. No squirrel. These are our cabin neighbors. They have lots, lots of horses. Hence the horse poop smell. And here is a lot of deer poop. Deer poop everywhere. Even in the kitchen? So their whole house is. Yes, Ollie. In their kitchen, in their living room, in their bathroom. A bathroom 
bedroom kitchen. Yep, what are you going to do about it? I swish my tail at you. I think there's one over there. Excuse me, I a chipmunk. Maybe there's one behind that stump. Look how spooky that tree is. Look, I think it's a squirrel.